The Farmer's Workshop has frustrated many players over the years with its lack of automation options, but today I hope to share a workaround to semi-automate the milking, shearing, and syrup making jobs, as well as briefly go over some of the other functions the Farming Workshop offers. First up, we have the Process Plants job. This job is pretty straightforward. It takes fibrous plants like pigtails, rope reed, and a few others, and turns them into plant thread, which can then later be turned into cloth at a loom, or be used for sutures at a hospital. Most of these plants can only be used to make thread, so you don't really have to set up any fancy conditions in your work orders. Process Plants Barrel will turn sweet pods and an empty barrel into dwarven syrup. This job can be a bit more complicated to automate depending on your still and milling setup, as sweet pods can also be turned into rum or sugar respectively. If you'd like to make all three, I would recommend checking out my automated milling setup video and slightly modify the conditions to add a cap to the amount of dwarven sugar that you want to produce. Then, in your process plant's barrel work order, set a condition checking to make sure you have enough sugar before starting the syrup job. If you prefer, you could also do this in reverse as well. It just depends on if you want more barrels or bags. Process Plants Vial is probably the least used job in this workshop. It takes an empty vial and valley herbs and turns them into Golden Salve. Golden Salve is a reasonably valuable trade good, but valley herbs only grow on certain maps and can't be cultivated, so Golden Salve industries can be quite rare. Make Cheese is another simple work order that can be easily automated by checking if you have any milk, and if so, turning it into cheese. The difficulty, however, is in getting the milk. Milk Animal is one of the first frustrating jobs at the farmer's table. It can't be fully automated because you cannot check for milkable animals in the manager menu. You could check for milkable items, but unfortunately creatures do not count as items. One way around this, however, is to count how many animals that can be milked, in my case 25, then set a work order to milk that many animals and repeat monthly. We can do this because all milkable animals can be milked every 17 in-game days, so by the time the order is reissued, everything should be ready to be milked again. In order to turn a one-time order into a repeating one, I find it's easiest just to check for one item, which should evaluate to true all the time. Now, if you really wanted to live on the edge and squeeze every possible drop of milk out of your animals, you could add 39% to your milkable animal count rounded down to account for those unproductive 11 days in the month. Then, to make sure your milk dwarf doesn't try milking all the animals at the beginning of the month, divide that total by 28 to split it into days, and change your work order to evaluate daily. This will probably result in some cancellation spam, so I don't really recommend it, but it is slightly more elegant than just setting a work order to try and milk an animal once a day without conditions. Shear Animal runs into the exact same automation issue as Milk Animal, and we can use our workaround in the exact same way too. The only difference is that woolly animals can be sheared once per year instead of once every 17 days, so just count the number of woolly creatures you have and set your work order to shear that many and it'll evaluate once per year. Spin Thread will take wool from your shear animal job and turn it into thread, which is often labeled as yarn in the game. It's easily automatable, just like cheese. Process Plant to Bag will take an empty bag and a quarry bush and turn it into quarry bush leaves and rock nuts. The leaves can be eaten, so they should make their way to your kitchen, but the rock nuts will need additional processing if you want to turn them into oil and press cakes. Do note that rock nuts are not separate from rock nut seeds, they're one and the same, so if you want to plant another season of rock nuts, you have to make sure to not process all of them. Make Sheet from Plant will make a papyrus sheet from a papyrus sedge plant. This is easily automatable too, but not every map will have papyrus sedge growing on it. Lastly, gelding is performed at the farming workshop, but in order to perform this task, you have to designate which animals you wish to geld in the pets menu under the citizens menu. Once an animal has been designated for gelding, it will automatically be taken to the farmer's workshop to be separated from its jewels. That's it for this Dwarf Fortress guide. If you liked it, please leave a like and let me know in the comments if you have anything else you'd like covered.